Hey, welcome back to Subtech Online, your to go channel for all the tech and data analysis. Uh, today we are going to look at the lambda function. So, uh, what do we uh, know about lambda function? So, lambda function in Excel it allows us to define a custom function using a formula. Uh, the syntax is pretty straightforward. What you do is you define your parameters, then you put the calculation. I'm going to take you through how all this is done. Have you ever thought about creating your own function? Some of you call it formulas, but it is a function. Like how you see some if function, how you see x lookup, v lookup. Have you ever thought about creating your own functions in Excel? If you have ever thought about that, then it is very possible. Stay tuned. Uh, we are going to go through this together. So what exactly is lambda function? So simply take it to be uh, a way how you can create your own usable, reusable, customized function, which you are going to use directly in Excel without a need of VBA, that is uh, coding, without a need of buying the add-ins. And this makes your spreadsheet clean and more efficient. So I've got three I've got uh, three uh, scenarios we are going to go through. How you calculate a markup, calculating the hypotenuse. You all know this Pythagorean theorem. Uh, how you can calculate uh, uh, the value of x using quadratic equations. There are many things how we can uh, use the lambda function. It is not tied to only this, but any function you can always have in Excel. You can create your own. So I'm going to show you how we calculate markup. We all, we all know that markup is equal to selling price minus cost price, divided by cost price, all that. But if I've already created my uh, uh, lambda function, which I've renamed uh, percentage markup. So if I do percentage markup, so it is only asking me now to define only X and Y. Already X, I've called it my selling price and the Y is my, uh, sorry, my cost price, then the Y is my selling price. So the moment I do that, it automatically gives me uh, the markup, of which we know the markup is that formula, selling price minus uh, buying price, that's the cost divided by the cost. So we are going to go through that together. Then here we go. So uh, the first thing I'll take you through is uh, how, how do we calculate a markup? In the normal way, how do we calculate a markup? I will increase on this. Hope it is visible enough. So how do we calculate a markup? We calculate a markup by uh, typing equals to, you open brackets, then uh, selling price minus cost price, close brackets, divide by the cost price. The cost price is this. So when you do that, uh, obviously, if you haven't changed this to percentage, in case this was still in general, it will give you this. So go ahead and change this to percentage. And after that, you can increase uh, the decimals to two. So we get 60.87. Now, Let's see how we use lambda to simplify this. It means that if you are going to reuse this formula many times or in a workbook many times, you may be in finance and you have to do these calculations often. So you can always create your own markup uh, formula or function. So here I will say equals to lambda. So equals to lambda. This is lambda. So the moment I select lambda, it is asking me for the parameter or the calculation. So the parameter will start with, I'm going to go with x, x to be my cost price, then comma y, which is going to be my selling price, then comma. Now, what is the calculation? So uh, what is the calculation? I will open brackets. So my calculation was, I'll open another bracket. Let me open two brackets. Then my calculation was uh, the selling price, which is the Y. So I'll say this is the Y minus 
uh, the x, close the bracket, divide by the x. So ideally this is how it is, then I'll close this. So the moment I close this, it means that, okay, the moment I close the lambda, it's going to give me a calculate uh, error. This calculate error, when you, uh, you, because we have not provided the values, but let me provide the values. So providing the values, immediately after the lambda function, I can open this, put my, by, um, my x, as 2,500, uh, 2,300, comma, uh, my y as 3,700. So the moment I put that, I close, immediately it is going to give me the same thing. So if I want to reuse this for uh, another function, maybe uh, if we had another cost price as 2,500 and the ceiling price here as 4,000, it means that I will have to retype this <clears throat> because um, these are hard coded, which means I will have to rechange this. But the easiest way is that uh, if you re I repeat this lambda function, it means if I repeat this here, uh, if I repeat this here, I can link this directly to the cell references. So I'll select that comma, select the selling price, which is my Y, then I'll get that. So if I copy the same formula and paste it here, it's giving us the same answer, but this time it is linking directly to this. So you can either hard code or you can, but always it means that you'll have to sell reference it. But shall we be typing this Lambda function always like this? No. Now this is the way to go. Now we are going to, to create a customized, we are going to customize it and we see whether it is going to give us uh, the same function. So how do you customize this? The lambda function, you will copy it before the references, the whole of that, copy, enter to leave that cell, go to formulas, uh, go to formulas, then named function. So define a named function. So what is this function? I will call it markup. Just let me call it markup like this. And even I put a percentage sign. Or oh, we can just call it markup. Uh, for the better thing, I can call it, sub. I can include the word subtech. Just to make sure that this is the formula created by me, I will always use it that way because it is my markup. Make sure that you don't put a space between the naming. So that's a principle. You have to make sure that there is no space. If you have more than one wordings, you can put an underscore. Then the next thing here is the explanation. You will have a, a comment that you will always look at to make sure that you know that this is what I'm looking for. So here I'll put calculating, calculating percentage markup. Yes, like this. So calculating percentage markup, then you come to the reference, uh, the reference formula, uh, replace what is already there with what you have already copied, and okay. So the moment we do that, it means that if I come now to this custom formula here, I will do equals to, <coughs> remember we put the name markup, markup subtech, and here it shows you, uh, here it shows you, uh, calculating percentage markup. So that's the comment you put. So repeating this, just a moment, uh, repeating this uh, markup like this, markup subtech. The moment I select that, see how sweet it is. You have your own formula in your own writings, in your own wordings. Now they're asking us what is the value of X. Uh, obviously the value of X is the, the cost price comma, and what is the value of y? That is the selling price. Enter, you get the same thing. So you can drag this one downwards. So if I created more here, I'm going to create, uh, let's use the random, the random function to create some random numbers here. I'll do equals to random, 
random between, we can create from 2000, between 2000 and uh, uh, 6000. Yeah, let's create our buying cost price here. Then we can also use the same here and drag down. Here I'm just uh, creating values, which means if you use the other formula, uh, the basic formula, uh, where you have to type C, uh, C3 minus B3 divided by B3, so you get that. If you use the lambda directly, uh, which is the, the basic lambda, you get that. And if you use also the one you have customized, still you get the same thing. So all around you get the same thing, but this is why we always come to Subtech Online for such tutorials. So we are continuing to another, another scenario or another example that is the hypotenuse. But uh, remember all of you that if, you, uh, if this is the first time for you to reach on this channel, please make sure you don't forget to subscribe, uh, hit that button and ring the notification bell to stay updated with the latest version of the tutorials we get. Please pause the video, go subscribe, hit that like button, put for me a comment, come back. We go to the next thing that is the hypotenuse. So how do we calculate the hypotenuse? All of us, we did that mathematics where we used to say uh, C is equal to A squared plus B squared square root. By the way, before we go that far, how do you know how to create a square? If I gave you three, and we know all the square of 3 is 9. How do we get 9? So you just do equals to this. And we all know that square symbol is a shift 6. Then you put a square. That's a 9. And if you need chopped, you do the same thing. Equals to this. Uh, shift 6. Chopped like that. 27. So uh, that's it. Now let's go forward to create another formula that will help us to always calculate like the hypotenuse. So you can use this for all of the functions you always use in your functions. If you're in finance, getting maybe compound interest, calculating, you know, all those financial calculations you do where you have to do a lot of referencing and VLOOKUP, this and that and that, you can always change that into your custom. So how do we get the hypotenuse? We all know getting the hypotenuse I had got for you here a reference. So uh, we, are, we are stating lambda. So we are going to have A and B as our parameters. Uh, remember here we shall start with a square root. So this is the function of square root. Then A squared, which is this plus b squared, which is that. So at the end of the day, here we are referencing the three, which is this, and the four, which is the other one. So let's do that together. So how do we get the hypotenuse? I already given you a function, but typing this function, it will mean it is equal to um, a square root. So I will do a square root, which is that. We are still doing it normal. We haven't gone to lambda. So the square root of open brackets, uh, the a, which is the three. So I will click on three, uh, power two, that is shift six, two, close that, then plus, plus um, open bracket, the base uh, power shift six, then a two, close bracket, close bracket. So when we do that, automatically we get a five. You all know that when we get this squared, that is a nine, this squared, that is 16. When you add them, you get 25, which gives you a square root of five. But shall you do this every time you want to get the hypotenuse of a rectangle, if you're doing engineering, name it. No, you can't do that always. So let's go now for our lambda. How do we draft our lambda? Equals to lambda. Lambda. Now we are using A and B as our parameters. A, then B as our parameters. Then after that, 
put your calculation. I always want to open a bracket for all the calculation I'm going to do. I start with a square. This is the square root. So square root, open the bracket, put the A. Remember now it is the A squared, that is shift power two. Uh, close that, add, uh, open brackets, a B, uh, shift six, that's a power two. Close that. Then we close a bracket for the square root. Then we close a bracket for the function. And I close the bracket for lambda. Now, when I enter here, I'll get the calculation error. The calculation error means that we haven't inserted the parameters. So let's go and insert the parameters at the end here by opening a bracket. You reference this as A, you reference this as B. And when I enter that, uh, just a moment, we have to close this. This was not a times by the way. It has to be this way. Yep, here we go. So it gives us a five. Now, you can imagine our lambda starts from here up to there. So I'll copy this. Remember, we are going to create a custom. So this, this is the lambda. Then I want to create a custom. We shall come and put it here. We test ourselves. We see whether we are on point. Now, how do you create custom? Go to formulas, go to name, define a, a name. I'll call this hypotenuse like this. I put subtick. Why am I putting subtick? Because I'm proud this is my own function. Then you can always put here, uh, find, find the hypotenuse. Uh, find the uh, hypotenuse. Yeah, this is it. Now I'll paste all the other function here. So go ahead and do OK. So which means if I say here equals to hypotenuse, and here is the hypotenuse subtick, and it is asking me for A. What is A? A is this. What is B? B is this. The moment you enter, it gives you a 5. Now let's say if the height was 6, and the base was uh, 4.5, 4.6. So the normal function, uh, it will give us that. The lambda function, it will give us that. And the customized function, it will give us that pretty well. And uh, here, you will have mastered the lambda function. Guys, yeah, I know we, sh we need to do many functions uh, for you to get it uh, right, please go ahead. I will attach this uh, Excel file for your practice in the link in the video below if you're watching this on, t on YouTube. And if you're watching this on any other platform, please look for Subtech Online. This same video, you should find a file for your practice. The third thing I'm leaving for you is the quadratic function. Go through, see how it is done. And please leave me a comment in case you have any challenge doing this. Otherwise, we meet you in the next video. But remember not to forget to leave us a comment. Please leave a comment. And hit that notification bell such that you can always receive notifications when we post such videos. And hit that red button to make sure that you're part of the family. Otherwise, I wish you a good day, a good evening, a good morning. A good night. Bye-bye.